Hey, this is Brad Gill with Next Home Lifestyles. Welcome to another behind the scenes of a new house in Cupertino in the heart of Silicon Valley, ready to come onto the market. And we're gonna give you a snapshot of exactly what's gonna happen behind the scenes to get this home show ready. And your treat is this house is actually in the middle of the transformation. So you guys are actually gonna to get to see what it looks like when everything's torn apart before it all comes together. So I'm super excited to go take a look because Vanessa, our designer and stager is inside and I really wanna see what she's been up to. So come on, let's go take a look. And please watch your step because it's a construction zone on the inside. Hello. Well, been in the middle of a uh... Thanks, Cinderella here. Okay, Cinderella, well I'm sure you're not here just cleaning the floor. So why don't you let everyone in on exactly what your design idea is and how this place looked before we even got started. So before we got started, it was occupied and it was kind of too dark. But, but it used a lot of dark colors and heavy finishes and you could just tell again, very well done, but the style has changed a lot. Absolutely, and I love the layout of this home. We've done this floor plan before and then I knew the potential it could have to really brighten and go on trend. The high level things we're doing is lighting, painting, flooring, and decluttering, moving most of her stuff out. I'd say 99.5%. Let's dive into some lights. Enlighten me, please. This is a nice tall vaulted ceiling, and we actually had a very short time frame, and we had to pick out a nice light that would come down all the way to accent a dining table. That was a major challenge during this time with the supply chain issue, and with the limited time and the holidays. One thing that was very challenging about the ceiling is it's super tall and we had to find a light that would fit and go over the table. What you wanna do is when you're hanging a chandelier above a dining table, you wanna measure about 66 inches from the floor to the bottom of the light. Here, this one is hung a little bit too high. If it can be brought down about this height, that would really accentuate the table. It gives you focus light, the task light, and then it actually is part of the compilation of the dining table. So we've got a, a dining area. What else is happening in this room? And we have a living room area here. So we'll be having a couch or a sectional here and a place to watch TV. Okay, so the other question I'm sure the viewers are wondering is, what's up with the floor? Are concrete floors back in style or we got another plan? You know, if we go hangar style, concrete would be really awesome. But I think in this situation, we want to appeal to as many buyers as possible. Let's put in smooth flooring. So here we're going with engineered hardwood. Give it a smooth transition from the tiles into the living room. Great. And we're doing that all through the entire lower level. Yes. Any other reason why someone would want to choose solid surface flooring over carpeting, especially for the main living areas? Well, one is for looks and then two is just easy maintenance, easy care. I think it's a good and positive feature to have in a living space. Moving on. I see a really cool light fixture in there though. I'd love to hear the story behind that guy. I would not be very good at fixing this light if it went out. I don't get it. The good thing is it won't go out for quite a while and there are no bulbs to replace. So you just replace the entire unit. Well, that sounds expensive. No, this light is actually very inexpensive, but it has a very designer look. We like that. Inexpensive, but high class. This is a very special room where it's a bedroom on the lower floor. This bedroom is very special in terms of the fact that there's only two rooms in this home and we wanted to create a dual function, a bedroom and an office. Very, very important for the current buyer environment because you're looking for more functionality in a home. Yeah, work from home is super important. There is a Murphy bed right here. Seller is keeping it because it was custom to the space and we'll be adding on to this room. All right, show me what else is going on here. Okay, we painted everything. Every surface got painted just so we can have a clean, fresh coat and the brightest color achievable. Yeah, we already talked about paint though. So why don't we go upstairs and take a look because I'm really excited to see what you did upstairs. This property's really neat. The previous owner used the upstairs, which is a loft bedroom, as her master bedroom. So tell us what's going on. Yeah, this space is super special. Everything got painted up here, and as you can see, it's a lot brighter and more spacious of a feel. The beams got painted. This was where she had her bed, and this is where we'll be having a bed as well. Obvious to me, 
is this is obviously not carpet again the old carpet could contain scents from the previous owner we want a new fresh a new home smell and look and up here we're going to add carpet but it's going to be a lighter color so this closet is very spacious and there's dual closets and i love that there's custom cabinetry in here so they already had this. We didn't install it, which is really nice. So what else we got going on? So in this bathroom, we kept most things the same, painted the walls. The bathroom is pretty spacious. We're changing out the mirror, but we're keeping the light because it will go with the new look. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what this final transformation is going to look like. So stay tuned, everyone. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been about four weeks since we were here last and you saw we were totally in the middle of construction. Now I get to hang a sold sign on top of this listing because we are sold at an incredible price and we want to walk you through exactly what we did and what the results were. Vanessa, hey, we got exciting news. I don't know if you heard yet or not, but we actually had multiple offers on this property. And we are currently pending, get this, $300,000 higher nice. than the asking price. It's over 25%. Let's take a look at the market situation. Why is it going over 300,000? Well, for that, you gotta tune into my weekly market updates. A main reason why we had such good outcome is because we have an amazing and talented staging designer. Let's give you guys some ideas of what you can do if you're thinking about getting your home ready for the market. What should we talk about first? First, we started off with getting everything out. Absolutely, very critical to make sure that we get as many personalized items and furniture that may be outdated, too bulky, or in not the best shape and move-in items are going to help the house show like a model home. In this case, it was 99.9% of all the seller's stuff out. There was one thing that we staged with. But the good news was the seller was relocating already, so she didn't have an issue with us removing everything. So what other design concepts, or I should say major cosmetic updating was done around here? I felt, let's just give it a nice clean slate with white walls. The other thing I'd say is lights, because not only will white paint help brighten the space, but light will be needed in the evenings. And so to have a brighter space throughout the entire day is going to be helpful. Very true. Like Vanessa recommended for the bedroom light fixture, this really appeals and modernizes the space. You know, not a lot of people can appreciate this light when I first suggest it. They're like an LED light that kind of looks like a spacecraft. Yeah, really. But look at it. It's pretty cool. This Murphy bed is the piece of furniture that the seller left behind because it's very functional for the space. She was using this area as an office, as well as a guest bedroom. So having the flexibility to offer a full-size Murphy bed is extremely important, especially for buyers in modern times. And being that it's custom, we had to work with it. So we added a glass desk here to actually feel like there's not much furniture, but it's still super functional. Come on, woo! What other major renovation was done? Flooring. Flooring is super important as well. There used to be carpet. And we decided to go all in on the hardwood, even though it's a little more expensive. But in this case, because the house is on a slab, we wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be any issues with floating floors and causing a feeling like the flooring was not connected. Very important. And actually, it was nice that the color tied in with the existing tiles at the front. And of course, the other upgrade we're talking about is carpet replacement as well. We could have recommended cleaning, and we did, but carpet replacement allowed us to choose a very neutralized color, one that's a little bit lighter. Newer carpet does just freshen the room up. And especially if your home has pets. So painting and flooring can really help eliminate any animal odors. And that's very important because in this case, the seller did have a companion animal. Why is staging so important? Staging is extremely important because staging creates focal points within rooms. 
it creates better flow. And on top of that, it creates the impression again that the home is gonna be in trend, it's gonna be very popular, it's gonna look better. So let's talk about how we staged the space. Uh, what I noticed is we didn't use a glass table here for the dining room, but we did use glass for the coffee table and for the console table. Yeah, so mixing components, mixing material and media kind of changes up the decor a little bit. A glass table here gives it a more airy feel with less furniture, although there is really a coffee table. So we staged a unit similar to this in the past and I was already familiar with the layout. Here there's space for a desk and then over over here, there was a day bed at another unit, but we thought we'd have a sitting area instead. Now that we were able to show you guys the transformation and everything we did around the property, let's talk about the results. Overall, paint-wise, guess how much we spent? Painting everything, was it 6000 Close to $6,000, right on. What do you think the most expensive upgrade was? Flooring. Yes, because we did hardwood downstairs along with carpeting upstairs. That was about $11,000. So how many offers did you get? We had 15 offers on this property. Listing price was $1,198,000, basically 1.2 million. And you got how much over asking? So we ended up with $262,000 above the asking price. Fantastic. So that's pretty good results. On top of that, the last model match for this particular property sold at a high of a million two sixty a few years back and we ended up two hundred thousand dollars higher in addition to that it even gets better there are three bedroom units within the same community that aren't even selling for the price that we got what if you just didn't do anything it would have sold anyway absolutely it could have sold anyway I mean, in fact, we could have just put a sign up out there with a phone number. We probably could have sold it in the same day, but it's probably not gonna have the same results. In fact, without doing the staging and the updating and the marketing and keeping it on the market long enough for good exposure, you're probably walking away from at least 15, if not 18% of the equity. And in this price point, that's $150,000 to $180,000. But with all the effort that you've put in, you could have gotten more listings during that time. Why are you putting in such efforts? Because we believe in taking care of our clients and making sure that we're helping them achieve the best results possible. <laughs> <laughs> so in essence, investment in property updates and staging, which came to about $30,000 altogether provided us $160,000 gain in the sale, which would equate to about 500% rate of return. Wow, that's amazing. Pretty amazing, absolutely. So all I can say is I'm excited to keep going and doing the next project with you. All right, I can reach this time. Oh, wait, wait, we're gonna do that There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you on the next transformation video we do soon. Honey, I'm home! Oh, Ricky, you're home early! It's been a long day! How about a drink? You're my hero!